Hey guys, what's up? I'm Giant Bot, and this is Dragon Ball Fighters. Fighter Z, or better known as Oh My God, that's not Bulma's real voice actress. Anyways, guys, welcome to the game we're going to be taking a look at today. Hey, if you enjoy the video, like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Let's run through the options menu real quick. It's fairly simple. First off, these menus aren't mouse driven, so boo to that. Resolution, windowed modes, V-Sync on or off, picture quality max, you have resolution scaling, AA, post-processing, texture quality, shadow quality, effect quality. They don't tell us what kind of AA they're using or anything like that, but you do have a reasonable amount of options. You have separate sliders for sound, music, and voice. You have Japanese and English voiceover, and you can rebind your buttons. Fair enough. Not great, not bad. Let's hop in, and the first thing you'll notice is that this game takes a while to, well, get anywhere because it has to communicate with its servers a thousand times. Also, I don't know why it was trying to play that. Yep, more, more server communication. And now we wait. So here you are, this is your basic lobby. Now, I will address some concerns with lobbies in a minute. You can walk around in it with your little chibi avatar, or you can hold down the trigger right here and warp to different places. There's world match, story, practice, arcade, local battle, rankings, replay, shop, arena match, and the gate where we came in. So, let's go ahead and hop into a world match and see if we can get a fight real quick while I talk about what the game is. In a casual match. So, I have a variety of preset teams set up here. You can change them at any point. Let's go ahead and take a bunch of Saiyans because it is a Dragon Ball game. And now we wait on a fight. There's a variety of things that you can do in here. I can customize and I can change my lobby character. You unlock these via random loot boxes bought with in-game currency. I can edit my stamps. Right here, these are things that will pop up above my head. I can edit my emotes. It's just a nice quick little system that will allow you to do whatever you, or customize your character however you want. You also have little quests here that will reward you with Zenny. And this is the shop. I can buy a Z capsule. One or ten. And bomb. I got a title. So you can buy those, as I said, with uh, in game currency that you earn. You can also buy with premium Z coins, which I have none. So. Also, that person appears to be having some severe lag issues. Alright, and we have a match. Now all we have to do is accept, and we'll hop in and we'll fight, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the idea of this game, so... I may be about to get my butt kicked, but, you know. It would be a great demonstration of this game. So at its core, this is by Arc System Works, who are known for Guilty Gear and Blast Blue. It is a cell-shaded 3D fighter. And I am getting worked here. So we have a team of three, as you can see. Or a team of two, as it were, for me. And it's a simple three button with one button that controls your key attacks. Ah, this guy is absolutely working me. Are you brave enough to take this one? 
Let's give him a final flash, shall we? If you guys are getting shades of Marvel vs. Capcom, there's a reason for that. This is very much in that same vein. So, yeah, let's get through this fight and I'll be able to talk a little bit more, guys. This is basically just me getting my ass headed to me. And we just got wrecked. Alright, so as you can see, it's an extremely fast-paced fighter. Okay, let me out of the lobby game. Return. So we'll hop into the story real quick. There is also a training mode. And you can set up fights against friends by opening up your own little ring here. And you can set... Different objectives, different conditions, so we could have ring match, ring party match, we can have a certain number of players, you can play a Red Robin style there. Let's hop into the story mode and talk about this game a little bit more. So... There are three story arcs in this game. Basically, from what I understand, it's the same arc, but seen from three different perspectives. So we'll go ahead and continue. And once we get into some actual fights here, I can talk more about the fighting system. So what you get is a grid that you can move about on. And the story is that clones have been taking over the world and you have to fight them and the androids are back and Cell and Frieza are back and it's just a bunch of Dragon Ball craziness. But you move around in these grids, you have a certain number of moves, you can unlock special battles like this Boo battle here, you can also unlock um, different characters that can join your team and you can get player skills. I have a victory health recovery up that will increase the amount of health I recover when I win because it doesn't automatically heal. So yeah, that's the story mode. It's um, not particularly well voice acted. The music in the game, however, is fantastic. This is not particularly well voice acted on the English side. It's not all of the right voice actors. Now, uh, Bulma in particular stands out as being not her original voice actor and not really <laughs> that good. So, you've got your basic light, your medium, and your heavy, and then your key. You also can charge up if you want. So, if you do a string of medium attacks and slay them all, it will end in some type of special move. You can also string together a combo that will allow you to throw energy blasts at somebody. You have select special moves for each character, different versions of them for each attack button. You have that super slick animation between fights. Let's take a look at the special move list. You'll notice there's not a ton of them and everything is done with half circles. This is a very accessible game, but it does have some good depth to it. You can also call in support attacks switch out on the fly. It's possible to chain together specials, as you saw in my online match there. The AI is not exactly the smartest. But you saw I was able to pull in a destructor disc there, even though it missed. You can also vanish. And it is possible to defeat an enemy and throw them 
through a mountain in typical Dragon Ball fashion. It's all very over the top. It's all very spectacle fighter style, and it works out really well. So let's go ahead and get Goku back in here and a minute. And we'll talk about some of the other techs in the game. You can do air recoveries and ground recoveries. I've used those a couple times in the matches. And then you have these destructive finishes, which I'll show you guys right here. So each character has a different one. Here's Goku's. They look amazing. They sound amazing. <laughs> they are ridiculous and over the top. The game plays great. It's extremely fast, it's extremely responsive. I haven't really found any characters that feel unbalanced. Um, that one character that was giving me trouble earlier is a character I struggle to fight with no matter what. I can't play as him and I can't play against him, so he's just very strange. I'll go ahead and fight these guys, see if we get a little bit of a cutscene here. Apparently not. Now, as far as the story goes, I mean, like I said earlier, it's a typical Dragon Ball story. It's it's not really that great, but it's it's good fun. Okay. Time to train. And also the game will... I went through the entire training mode, and the game will... Like your style. Continue to teach these tutorials to you, even if you've gone through it. So it actually gives you a good opportunity to just beat somebody down, but you have Sparking Blast here. You've come this far. And then you have guard cancels. All techniques that you're going to want to master. Especially if you plan on fighting anybody online. Let's hop out here and return to the, the title screen. We'll show you guys one other thing real quick. And that is something that you're going to want to keep in mind if you are trying to play this game with friends. One of my major gripes with the game, there is no way to just simply find somebody in your friends list and challenge them to a fight that I, we have been able to find. So, let's go to the gate. And I can exit the lobby and move to a different one. It's going to ask you to choose your region. For some reason, it defaults to Canada East Coast for me. I'm going to go U.S. East Coast, and you'll notice a problem. Almost all these lobbies are packed full. You can create an offline lobby for yourself, but when we tried to play this on stream, we spent a good 15 minutes trying to get into the same lobby so that we could walk up to each other and press right trigger to create that ring match and fight each other. It was not an optimal experience and I think it's something that needs to be fixed ASAP because it very very nearly put me off the game entirely I was not real happy with it but other than that this game plays well it sounds amazing it looks amazing it's very Dragon Ball so if you like what you see and you can kind of put up with some of the stupidity in some of its systems, it's very well worth it. However, it does have its issues such as that matchmaking lobby is pretty much always being insanely full. It does have plenty of modes, it has plenty of unlockables, and it doesn't seem to be leaning into real money loot boxes at all, so that is a positive. That, I'm going to leave you guys and go beat the crap out of these guys in arcade. But yeah, if you uh, have your own thoughts or feedback on Dragon Ball Fighters, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'd be interested to see what you guys have to say, and I will catch you guys next time.